Paige Hobbs is an author, coach, and speaker who teaches people to courageously connect so they have the relationships they deeply crave. Her book is called Naked Communications, and today we're going to learn exactly what that means and why you should get naked to have the life you really want. That was a bold intro, right? <laughs> I know. I a love bit. introing you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about what Naked Communication is. Sure. So Naked Communication, the title was born in the middle of nowhere on a 5,000 mile road trip with my kids <laughs> and my husband. And I've been writing this book and writing this book and I still couldn't come up with the title. And I'm talking to my husband about like, you know, what it's about and what the entire soul and purpose of this conversation is. And he's like, it's naked. That's mm -hmm. what it is. That's what it's about. It's about peeling back the layers of conditioning and patterned behavior and automatic ways of being so you can really show up as your more most authentic self in mm -hmm. all the areas of your life, right? Yeah. And what I have found through my life experience and my history um, professionally is that there really is one thing that everybody wants more than anything else, and that is to have relationships that really matter. Yeah. Like at the end, there's research about it, even at, in people's dying moments, right? They want to have loved deeply and been deeply loved. That's actually what they're looking to be surrounded with. And um, the, the avenue to that level of intimacy and connection really is around how you communicate, how you show up in the world, how mm -hmm. you present yourself. So naked communication is about getting out of your own way so you can be really clean, clear, compassionate, and ultimately courageous in every conversation you have. So as you were talking, I was just thinking of this um, study that I read where it was talking about how people who are the loneliest, people that mm -hmm. have the most anxiety and depression, will often push themselves, push other people away. So it's like when we want those relationships the most, that's when we push them away the most. Mm -hmm. How do we mm -hmm. people fight that and you know have that authenticity? It's su that in those situations, it's super hard, right? I have yeah. a background in counseling psychology, so I spent ten years as a trained therapist working with teens and families. And when people start to retreat into an actual spell of depression or anxiety, yeah. it can be really hard to pull oneself out of it. But there is, like, the, naked is, we all came out of the womb naked, right? And we all came out mostly fully self-expressed. That's uh -huh. how we came out. You know, I always think of babies as having, like, pure potential. So most people respond to babies like, oh, my God. I know. No matter how we get big authentic. and gruff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We get, you, exactly. Yes. So I think that when you can tap into that with people who are struggling with depression or anxiety, like, when you can tap into that essence, it's still inside of them, you know? And sometimes it's small risks, small actions. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to start with the biggest, most courageous conversation where you go tell your boss you want to take a sabbatical or you tell your husband you want to leave him. You don't have to start there. Right. You know, you can start with like asking the mailman about their day, which oh. for some people is like a big radical idea. Like this, so my kids laugh at me because I get into relationship with everyone all the time, no matter where we are. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, sometimes it's a little embarrassing to them because I'll just be chatting up the guy like at uh -huh. the counter or whatever. But honestly, what I think they're learning from that is that you can have that kind of natural um, shared common humanity mm -hmm. with anyone if you practice. And okay. so you can start with those smaller interactions if that's a risk for you. And it pays off like tenfold. Like we case in point, we were down at the Jersey Shore last summer because I'm from Philly originally. Oh. And we went to park, <laughs> yeah, and um, the lot was full by the boardwalk. We go to the boardwalk for like one day. The kids uh -huh. love it. And um, funnel cake, the whole shebang. Oh, and stuff. it's full. I know, it's so good. <laughs> and um, I'm like, no. I talk into the, talking to the guy at the little booth, and he's like, it's full. And, you know, I said, well, you know, where else can we park? We always park here. I don't know. And how, you know, I'm just chatting with him. He goes, you want me to move the cone, and you can just see if there's a spot. And I'm like, oh, wow. Sure. We go and turn off one spot. You know, and I said, thank you so much. The oh, my value gosh, you're of a awesome. Conversation. The value of a yes. conversation. And so he and he was psyched because honestly, it's pretty lonely to stand there and just like give people tickets all day long and feel mm -hmm. like nobody sees you as a human being. So it was just this like beautiful example of it can start with small interactions. So if you're mm -hmm. struggling, little steps, much like what was mentioned earlier with confidence. Um, if you take small actions to connect more meaningfully with people in your life, you'll find that it gets easier to do so. Yeah. And it's huge. I mean, those relationships sometimes, um, you know, you don't realize how how some uh, how what you would think is a small relationship. There's somebody mm -hmm. that you banter with here and there it can turn into something so much bigger. And that person might be, you know, the one that if you had a will, you put them in as the person mm -hmm. to take care of your children or, you know, have the money that you leave behind. So 
Absolutely. It's you so you really don't know. Yeah. And of course this pertains like with the clients that I work with and the groups that I run for women. Mm -hmm. It pertains people want to feel connected women want to feel connected to each other. There's yeah. like I think there's a real desire for community and with social media and all these other things. While in some ways that helps us be more connected, there's ways in which it creates separation. Right. And people are longing for much like this brick and mortar space we're in, they're they're longing for human connection. So people come to work with me who really want to show up more powerfully in all areas of their life, from their marriage to their child, to the, you know, as parents, as moms, yeah. and in friendship, mm -hmm. like in the spirit of shared experience. And so that's what Naked is about, really like peeling it back. Okay. So what's the first step for everybody that's watching that they can start being a little more naked in their communication? The first step truly is knowing yourself better. You know, it really, the relationships with yourself, it sounds cliche, but you have to start there because that's where you actually have the most power to elicit change mm -hmm. and to transform the relationships in your life. So in the book, I talk about really looking at what kind of communication styles you have, what's the most natural for you, and where is that working for you, and where is it not? Ah, uh, okay. Because w while being assertive can have its great moments, it can also really be a turnoff depending on the person or the environment. So the first step is really to examine, like, how are you currently showing up in the world? And is it a match, an authentic match for how you want to show up in the world? Once you can get more familiar with your own patterns and behaviors, you can start having awareness, and with awareness comes choice. Uh -huh. Beautiful. That's where I would start. Well, thank you so much for those tips. Hand me a copy of your book. Yeah. All right. You can find out more. There's some free resources on my website. This is what the book looks like. Get a little quiz on your communication style, and you can get free chapters there, too. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing with thank us. Thank you so much for having me on. <laughs>